Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called tranexamic acid, and tranexamic acid is most commonly referred to out in the EMS field as TXA. It does have a brand name, which is Lysteta. It falls under the class of antifibronolytic agents. So its mechanism of action or how it works in the body is that it competitively inhibits the activation of plasminogen to plasmin. Your indications are gonna be patients who are candidates for massive blood transfusions due to traumatic injuries, but it can also be due to hemorrhagic shock, evidence of severe bleeding, penetrating injuries to the torso or abdomen, or one or more major amputations. And this is just something, as always, you know, you need to know your protocol because you may be able to, in your protocol, administer it for uncontrolled epistaxis, or you may be able to administer it for esophageal varices or epic pregnancies. Um, your protocol may give you a little wiggle room in just that. If there's evidence of bleeding, you're actually allowed to administer the medication, or it might be a lot more specific. Specific, so just know what your protocol is. Okay, now we're going to get into dosages, but just like I just finished saying, always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. So your dose is going to be one gram infused over 10 minutes, and that'll be in 100 to 200 mLs of normal saline or lactated ringers. The second dose is going to be one gram as well, administered over eight hours. So your contraindications will be subarachnoid hemorrhage and thromboembolism. Adverse reactions can include blurred vision, GI issues, and hypotension if it's given too rapidly. So what are some of your drug interactions? Do not administer with factor 9 or similar medications because the risk of thrombosis may be increased. How it's supplied? It's supplied in 1,000 milligrams in 10 milliliters, which makes the concentration 100 milligrams per milliliter. And this is specifically for IV use only. Okay, a few side notes about TXA. It must be administered within three hours after the trauma. If it's administered after, it has been proven to cause post-resuscitation issues. Do not administer this in the same line as blood products for obvious reasons. And also do not administer faster than 100 milligrams per minute because hypotension can occur. Although this medication has a pill form, in the EMS setting, it is given through the IV route. And I just want to say thank you to all of my followers because um, this is something that we have in our scope in our state, but it's for transport only. And it's something that our department is really trying to kind of learn more about and get in, into our department protocol. So I reached out and I asked if you guys have experience with it and what your protocol says. And you guys have been amazing in kind of sharing different protocols with me and just showing me how people from all over the world are administering and using TXA. So I so, so appreciate all of y'all's help. Remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday.